Really quickly, thank you so much for the outpouring of response and support for this project. Uh, the responses have mostly focused on number one and number three. I'm so excited to share information in this story. Your consistent and continuous feedback is really helping me shape what you want to hear. As we take the story into more detail about reducing debt and expenses and saving for long-term goals, I want to touch on emergency funds one more time. When our story was talking about emergency funds earlier, I didn't mention any particular numbers on how much you should be saving. It's always important to remember that personal finance is personal, and everyone's savings goals and emergency fund needs are different. Money put aside in an emergency fund is for the unforeseen expenses of not only the person, but the family that they support. In Dave Ramsey's Total Money Makeover, he recommends starting by trying to create a $1,000 emergency fund for unexpected expenses. Yes, I do hear some of you laughing over the internet and thinking $1,000, that seems pretty unreasonable and impossible right now. Even if you can only save a few dollars in an envelope right now, try to start an emergency fund because it can prevent long-term financial difficulties. A lot of financial companies out there want you to use this as a form of an emergency fund. Loans and credit cards will possibly create more emergencies for you. Boring. Get back to the silly stuff again, will ya? Yeah, we can change this we Cash Chat Snap is a shared story project on personal finance. Don't make any decisions based solely on what you see here, except for how to change your text to different colors. To all of you who've been with me from the beginning of our project, I'm going to try a few new things with the snaps in the coming days uh, to try to make it a little less redundant. Cash Chat Snap! Cash Chat Snap! Cash Chat Snap! Be more funny!